Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Product Review Channel, guys. Today we will leave a review about a tool that you must have if you own a car. It's something little but very powerful that will let you test your battery. So you don't get ripped off by a dealership or mechanic telling you that you need a new battery when you don't. The thing will pay for itself immediately, guys. So let us show you what we're talking about. Another thing is uh, it gives you the power to test the charging system of your vehicle. Okay, let me show you what you can do. You can test battery, you can test cranking test, and you can uh, test uh, the charging uh, charging system of your vehicle. Very, very good tool, very easy to use. Stay with us. Okay, we will cover the procedure today, how to operate it, and how easy that thing is. And it's good for everywhere in the world, because you can see it has different uh, testing standards. In the USA, we use CCA, which is known as code cranking amps at zero uh, zero degrees fahrenheit okay so let's test the battery guys okay on this hyundai hyundai elantra right here that's a 2013 model okay and i believe we have original battery being 2018 now okay that makes it almost five years old so i'm surprised that this thing is still holding okay so we're going to open the hood and connect the device and I even just noticed that it says it's replaced in 60. So it's actually two years old battery. It's been replaced one time already, okay? So, now right here you can see you have, uh, this is negative terminal, okay? And this is the positive. So the positive you connect the red cable and negative the black cable. Okay, and now we have two different kinds of tests. Okay, let me show you now what you have here. Okay, it's not connected obviously because if it's connected, it's going to communicate. Okay, right here You gotta make sure the clamps are tight. Okay, we have 12.5 volts But that doesn't mean anything. Okay, those are the languages that you have Okay, we're going to select English Okay, we're going to select out of vehicle test which is the simple test and we will cover the second one Stay with us guys. The second one is a really important one. Okay, and you can select before charge or after charge. We haven't charged the battery, it's just been on the car. We haven't connected it to any charging devices, so we select before charge. You can select the regular folded battery, gel battery, okay? So you need to see what yours says. Our says it's a, it's a regular folded battery. Okay, now CC8, code cranking amps, okay? Right here, it says 600. So we need to go down to 600 now. Okay, click OK, and now it's testing the battery. Okay, let's see how it's going to perform now. Okay, it says good battery, we don't need to replace it. Now we have 555 amps, which is less than 600. You can see it's only 86% full, but it's still good. It's still good. Okay, and we haven't driven the car in a few days. Okay, so let me show you now the second test. Okay, if you have a bad battery, it's going to say replace on the bottom. Okay, we're going to select English again. In vehicle test, before charge. Okay, and we're going to select 600 again. And now we are waiting, first it will do its own thing, it will test the battery again. Okay, you can see, good battery. Okay, now it says start engine. So, you need to go inside your vehicle. Okay, start your engine. Okay, RPM detected. Okay, it's testing now. It's testing. It says cranking normal, 10.2 volts, so the battery is good. It has enough power to start. Everything is uh, good here, otherwise you will say that it's uh, uh, not normal. Okay, and we're going to test the charging, uh, charging system on our vehicle. This is the charging test. Okay, you select, okay, loaded test. It's going to put some uh, load on the battery. Let's say you have uh, your lights on and things like that. Okay, and it asks you to increase the RPMs. Okay, it detected it. And it's testing now. Okay, charging normal. You can see loaded charging. Let's say you have your lights on, air conditioner on. You're charging in 
14.18 volts and non-loaded it's 14.38 very minimum difference between the two which means good uh, good charging around 14 volts that's uh, that's perfect so that's guys the whole video that little tool very powerful and it can pay for itself in no time you go to the mechanic they tell you you need an alternator you can always check to see if your alternator is performing as it should thank you guys for watching us don't forget to subscribe many more videos to come